Dang. Guys, this coach, it's hot. This is the Phaeton. Number one selling diesel pusher in America. Not of just Tiffin, of all major brands. Hottest motor home you can see today, the Tiffin Phaeton. Let me point something out. This coach is built on a power glide chassis. This is the 40IH. If you'll look, it's a seamless slides. Guys, you know what's important about that? Everybody else, they're all framed in. This is fiberglass, 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 fiberglass on the top. It's screwed and glued and then framed in. Not on this coach, it's a molded one piece shell. This slide out is built specifically for this motorhome. Clean, smooth looks. It's what you see when you get up to half a million dollar motorhomes. Beautiful. This coach is 13 foot two inches tall. Look at the clearance that you have in there. Remember, this is on the Tiffin Power Glide chassis. You have both of these storage bins. The white box, this coach is fully electric. It comes with all the pots and pans that you need for your induction cooktop. Compartment doors, the same thing if you buy the Zephyr, same kind of compartment door. Outside TV, LG, sound bar. And the thing I really like is they've added the USB ports over here on the side. You got your phone outside, you need to charge it up, you plug it in there, you're watching TV, you got it going on. Let me show you another neat feature on this motorhome. You still got a little bit of storage in there. You've got great storage on this coach all the way around. Back of the refrigerator, window awnings, and like we said earlier, all the Tiffins are going to have Gerard awnings all the way around. This one's gravity. You pull it out, attach it right here. More storage. And one thing that I really like about what Tiffin's done on all their motorhomes, on their diesels, if you come out, you're not going to use your motorhome for a while, here's your engine battery disconnect. All you do is turn it off, and it cuts your power off right here so you're not putting a constant drain on it. You get ready to go, cut it back on. The only thing I'll remind you to do is put your little ribbon around the steering wheel or something, remind yourself that you cut that off, or you'll be a dummy like me, Go get battery chargers and jumper cables and everything and then not realize it until you come out. There again, 10,000 pounds towing. You've already got the seven-way Bargman plug. Roof rack and ladder. You've got this right here. You've got an attachment that attaches to come on down, but it still gives you the integrity of the motorhome down below. Now when we step up to the Phaeton line, you've got a power cord reel. Your DEF is right here. And guys, these are just ping tanks. That way you can come in here, cut those on every once in a while, blow any moisture out of your lines. So that's what that's for. You've also got an air chuck that's out here that you can plug into if you're at the beach or lake or need to air up something, you can do that. And like I said, this coach is fully electric, so this one has the aqua hot system on it. You also have the power water hose reel, place to put paper towels, outside shower, you got a monitor gauge out here that's digital, your water filter, water pump, low point drains. This is made for people that just need a little help on remembering things, it's the easiest thing in the world to operate. If I can do it, y'all can. Extended cycle batteries. If you notice, you've got six batteries on here. This coach is equipped because it is fully electric, faster recharge, longer lasting, everything about it, and it's on a slide out train out. Last year it was not. Dual fuel fill. Circuits and breakers are in here.
side view cameras up top. This coach has three 15,000 BTU ACs with heat strips and the quiet on and diesel 10,000. One thing that they're not going to do is cheat you on power. You got the 3M mask, one piece windshield. Guys, if you're looking for a great value motorhome, you come out, let me show you, or let us show you the Tiffin Phaeton, and you'll see why it's America's number one selling diesel pusher over 14 years in a row. Let me get you inside and show you some other features, and if that doesn't wow you, I'm in trouble. Come on in. I couldn't hear everything Ray said, but I can tell how much he loves his motor home. Oh man, man it's, it's it's fun to show stuff you love, right? Oh, th this coach, there's nothing not to love about this, Anthony. I mean, to me, it's the great greatest value coach for the dollar that's out there today. Uh, take a look, the beautiful mocha wood. I mean, it's just it's unheard of. It looks contemporary and classic at the same time, if that's possible. Yeah, you know, that's a good it, way of putting it's it. It's got yeah. it's got a nice classic look to it, but because of the shape of the cabinets and the cut of the cabinets, it has a more modern look to it at the same time. And, and this and it's, li it's lit up like a Christmas tree inside here too. It is right now, <laughs> and that's the beauty about this. You can cut off lights. You can set the ambience. You can do whatever you want. If you just want these accent lights on on the roof, you can do that. If you want to light it up, you can light it up. The thing that I like about it, what they've done right now, is with the two big recliners right here. And then if you're sitting there, you got the big lift up TV. And we're not talking about a 24 inch TV over here, guys. Race, I see a couple of switches on these chairs too. Is it what what are these for? Does it have heat and everything in these chairs? No, or, that's your or power. The cup holders? Oh, power for the seats, okay. Yeah, power recliners. You can see what this is like. The one thing that a lot of people complain about in an RV, you're in there in the evening trying to watch TV and, you, and you're having to turn your head all the way left or all the way right yeah. to watch TV. Not with these guys. You just sit right here, kick your feet up, and TV straight in front of you. You got a place to put your uh, beverage of choice. <laughs> the front two seats turn all the way around, so you've got a great, great conversation Man, piece there, Anthony. Fit more people in here than I'd want in here. Oh, yeah, you can drink eight. Eat four and sleep too. <laughs> Just come over, have a drink, stay for dinner, but then you got to go home. Yeah, you better get up. I'm worried you're going to fall asleep in that chair. Yeah, me too. <laughs> you said this is all electric coach outside, right? Fully electric. Yeah. Does that mean there's no propane in it at all, correct? No propane at all, because what you're going to do is you're going to jump in and you're going to go to the induction cooktop. And all the Tiffin motorhomes that are built with induction cooktops also supply you with the induction pots and pans. That was my next question. Another thing that's really cool about this, there used to be plug-ins all over the place down here on the wall. Now what they've done, maybe, they've integrated plugs right here, plus they've still got plugs on the top. It gives you that nice big window, too. That's a huge window in that oh, kitchen. Yeah, but it makes it nice with here. If you've got a coffee pot or something like that, you can do it. The other thing that I like about it, and I had a lady tell me this, so it makes sense. When they're going on a long trip, she would take her crock pot, put all her food in there, set it in here, plug it in here, and while they're driving for that five or six hours, they're cooking their meal. You got your pot roast ready when you get to where you're going. Dad gum right. <laughs> so, I mean, there's all kinds of things. And this solid surface countertops, guys. Uh, this started, I believe, in 2019. You're talking about the back slash? The back, uh, slash? The back window. Yeah. The back and window's really nice. That is just taking over. I had people trading out of 18s just to get the window. Just for the window. Yeah. Glass sells RVs. It does. You got the day-night shades in this, Coach. If you look at the treatment up here, like on the ceiling and things, I mean, it's just, you can see why this is America's number one selling diesel yeah. pusher. You know, I, I'd put this against anything. Yeah. You can do this, Coach, with a booth dinette. You can do it with a, a dinette computer workstation or a dinette bar. I have not seen the dinette bar, but the workstation's always been good. And then, of course, with the booth, if you need to sleep, another one, you can. This one does drop down and make a bed. That you got the height of bed right. there, the one here, 
And if you got little kids or something, they can more than likely sleep in the chairs. I'm sure Race has slept in a chair. I guarantee one, one I have many times. <laughs> you got some storage underneath the dinette too, Race, right? Oh, yeah. That's one. I, I know a lot of times people ask about that because people will actually go with the dinette just because they like the extra storage that you get in the, underneath it. It's valuable storage, yeah. especially if you're going to be having people with you. That's a great place to put pillows, mm -hmm. blankets, things like that for your beds. Yep. So you're not having to take up the rest. The other thing, since I did say it's fully electric, this coach has a heated tiled floor. Now, the, what stands apart that Tiffin does and everybody else, most people that have a heated tile floor use their aqua hot. So you're running water, zigzagging water all the way through your floor. Tiffin doesn't do that. Tiffin uses kind of like heat blankets, and they're laid down. So you're not going to have hot and cold spots. You're going to have two different zones. So when you're going through, you don't have to worry about it. Plus, if you ever get a water leak on one of those, you got to pull all that pipe out, and then you got to try to get it fed back through there, and it's almost impossible to get it back right without pulling up a bunch of tile. On this, if it goes out, you pull up one tile, replace the circuit board on it, and go again. So this is a wonderful deal, guys. A lot of people say, I don't need a heated tile floor. I'm not going to be where it's really cold. Well, I'll tell you something. You put this heated tile floor on, I think it's on zone two, and it'll heat this coach up about three or four degrees just off the floor yeah. because it's radiating heat. And people don't realize how much cold comes up from the bottom. Oh, yeah, when you're exactly. RVing, you, you, Even if you're not. So I, I would say a lot of times, yeah, you may not be going somewhere cold, but you might drive through somewhere cold in between. And what if you have to stop while you're traveling? You're going to want those extra ways to heat your coach that, that aren't quite as uh, overwhelming as, 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 a, as a heat pump or a furnace or that sort of thing. And you had the aqua hot. So as long as you had the aqua hot on, you're going to be blowing heat down into your tanks and basement, but you're not going to be blowing enough to keep it warm. Yeah. You'll keep it from freezing, but you're not going to do that. But even with a cold front coming in, it's going to get down to the 50s. Uh, you cut this on, you don't have to use your heat pumps. Yeah. And that's the other thing, beauty about being electric. You don't have to buy propane anymore. Matter of fact, you buy this coach from me, and I'll give you propane for life on this coach. <laughs> Another great feature that they've done on yeah, this. People are going to be bringing you barbecue grills. I said just on this coach, yeah. <laughs> slide-out pantry. Now, I know I've shown you the other slide-out pantries on other units. But what starts this now being unique is the fact that if that ignition key is in the on position, this will not open. And you're going, okay, what if I'm going down the road and I need in there? That's a release lock. All you would do if the ignition key's on or engine's running, push in on that. That releases your lock so you can still get in there if you're going down the road. Now we go to the Maytag refrigerator. Ice and water, right? Race. Ice and water in the door. Guys, it's a residential refrigerator. It's just like you'd have at a home. Now, I, I said outside a minute ago, this coach is like 13 foot 2 inches tall. Most coaches are 10, uh, 12, 10, 12, 8, like that. Same interior height, guys. 7 foot ceiling inside. Your storage is where your height is what you're gaining. And that's what's important. Hunting gear, uh, bicycles, anything you want to carry now, you can do it because you've got the clearance. Here's the half bath. Just look at that detail on that thing. Look at the, the detail on that backsplash. Yeah, it's solid surface yeah. countertops all the way throughout. You got the man's bidet back here in the back corner, if that's what you use it for. Most people use it just to clean the toilet out, but <laughs> if you want to use it for that, you can. If you're man enough and you're from the south, it'll work. The race mentioned the solid surface all the way around. That, again, another place people could cheat, right? Dealers, exactly. Manufacturers will put it just in the kitchen. And you'll see it in the kitchen. You'll assume it's everywhere else, and it's not. It's, it's right. going to be. It, what you'd end up having, Anthony, is it's going to be just like it'll be this color, but this is solid surface, but then it'll be a hard plastic or something yeah, or some mica or something from my, yeah, the rest of the way it. back. But it looks like that. Uh, but that's a good point. Uh, another thing that they did this year on the Phaeton that they didn't do last year, on the central vac system, last year they only had the one where you could plug in the hose. Now they've integrated the kick plate where you can sit here, sweep up to it, cut it on, sweep up to it, and it'll suck it in. It's your, it's your power dust pan. Yeah. So it's kind of like what the Allegro bus has, but they did it this year on the Phaeton. Now, one of the beauty things about the Paraglide chassis, you've got to see it, feel it, touch it to appreciate it. Now, I'm going to stand right out of the way. If you look at everybody else that I was showing you and other models, when you go back to that back bath bathroom, you got about a six or eight inch step that you got to get into. 
that is the first thing I noticed, Race. That's funny you, you're saying that. The first thing I noticed when I walked back here is, hey, there's no, there's no step. I don't have to step up to get in the bathroom. I exactly. walk straight into the bathroom. It's a flat floor all the way back to the back bathroom. Plus, you get a big back bathroom, giant king size bed, lots of room to get around. Uh, TV's over here, in motion satellite dish, uh, the three 15,000 BTU ACs with heat pumps down to about, oh, 38 to 40 degrees. You can use your heat pumps on top before you even have to use the aqua. Yeah. Ceiling fan. The thing that I like about the 40 foot, most 40 footers when you get into, you have one sink in the rear bath if you have the single bath up front. You still have the two sinks. Now, if it's like my wife, my wife's going to be right here in the middle and take up all of it. So that's why that's my bath in the middle. <laughs> Apparently, you know what I'm talking well, about. I mean, I, I, the, I, I know you don't spend a lot of time in the front of the mirror. No, definitely. <laughs> uh, you got the Splendid stacked washer dryer. There's so much storage back there. Great storage space, built-in safe, place for shoes up on top. And the one thing that Tiffin has done to help integrate, because you got the engine in the back, guys, there's an air vent inside the closet. So if you cut the air conditioner on up here, you're actually going to be putting cool air in the back because the engine does radiate heat. Yeah. No matter how well you insulate it, it always insulates heat. So they put the air conditioner vent in the back that will help knock that down. Look at this, guys. That is a giant shower. Exactly. You walk into some of these motorhomes, Anthony, and you got to go back yeah, to the seventies. You got to have that soap on a rope. Let me jump in the shower. Watch this, guys. All right, I'm I'm six foot two, give or take, and yeah, I got a ton of space still left in here. Are you sure you're in here with me? Uh, we both <laughs> could, but no, thank you. <laughs> I think that's a bad idea. <laughs> but no, it's just great. And then this one again, you've got the electric flush toilet with the macerator that pumps it up to the front and then drops it in. It's just a great, great unit. I mean, from the mocha wood to the ceramic tile floor, the Splendid washer dryer, the three air conditioners, the bigger TVs, the king size bed, uh, induction cooktop, aqua hot system, 10K diesel generator. Uh, I this one even has the mobile avoidance collision center on it. Man, so many things on this motor. And they've totally redesigned the dash area for this year. There again, when you come up to the front, Look how big your screen is now, Anthony, that's compared a, to what that, it was last that, year. Yeah, that is a that, that's that's so fantastic because a lot of times you get these backup cameras, and the screen's so small you what you can't even use it. Exactly, you can't even see what's behind you. And then, like I said, new for this year is the the digital dash, and I just I can't get over that. Uh, actually, if you sit right there, it really does feel like you're in a cockpit because you've got all the gauges, everything around you, uh, four point automatic self leveling jacks, uh, sliding window on the side. Dash fans. I mean, this coach, guys, th there's a reason this is number one in America for over 14 years in a row. It's because it's the best in America. If you don't fall in love with this motorhome, I, I, I don't know what else to show you. Oh, yeah. Ever since they came out with the IH, I believe it was in 16 or 17, this has been their number one seller. Uh, you can't beat it. From the flat floor, when you walk in here, like Anthony said, that's the first thing that jumps yeah. at you. You don't see that hump. But, guys, this is the number one selling diesel in America. I hope I've shown you enough reasons why. Come out and experience the difference for yourself. I'd like to invite you out to Vought RV. We're at 5301 Airport Freeway. We're open 9 to 6 Monday through Friday, 9 to 5 on Saturdays. Come out and see us, and I guarantee you guys, we'll try to put you part of our family, which will become part of Tiffin's family. Thanks, Thanks guys. Us. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions, be sure to drop a comment below. Or if you have any suggestions on content you'd like to see, we'd love to hear about that. Go ahead and give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again from Vought RV.